Hey guys, it's me, Scaly here. This time with a slightly different setup. Um, I'm going to be attempting to replace the battery in this Kingware KW88 Pro. You can see here the screen is actually loose, which is a result of these little plastic pieces breaking off under the stress of these screws being in so tightly. But not only that, the battery is actually swelling. It's not very swollen right now because I haven't charged it, but when you plug it into charge, you'll see that the screen starts to lift up very slightly, and if you press it back down, it's kind of spongy, which leads me to believe that the battery in here is starting to swell. So, put that down there. I have bought this replacement battery from China. It cost about... How much was it? I think it's about seven pounds. Plus shipping is a bit more. I think it was close to fifteen pounds if you include shipping in that. But you may notice that this actually doesn't have a connector on it. It's just these two leads here leading to this little BMS. So the plan is I will take the BMS from the battery in here and solder it to this new cell here. But basically, it was just cheaper to buy it without the special BMS and the special connector that goes in here. So first off, let me get my screwdriver. Make sure it's powered off. This is already off. It's been off for a couple of weeks. But make sure it is powered off. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see a bit better. This is the SIM card tray. This, you can unscrew this screw here. It should just come out like that. Put that aside there. Lift it up and push it to the side and it comes out like that and I took the SIM card out now. I used to have a little O2 SIM card in here just to experiment with it. You'll want to open these four screws here. Line that up properly, there we go. And now, this should just lift up, like so. And what you want to do now is, let's see, you'll need to remove this little Lego connector here for the heart rate sensor. I've just disconnected that now, as you can see it's a bit loose. And the next thing you want to do is remove this metal shield. So I'll just do this with my fingernail. It has little clips all the way around it that just kind of unclip themselves. As you can hear, they come out quite easily. And once you've done all the little clips, there's one last one here, there we go. We have the shield and heart rate monitor off. And now we have this here. This is over here. That's the battery connector. We will unplug that first. There we go. Then this, this is, I believe, for the little button on the side here, the little clicky button. Take that off. These two, I think this is for the camera here on the side. I'll do that next. Just pull that out. There we go. This here, unsure of what this one is. But like all the rest, that just pops out. Are there any more? I think there is another connector under here, let me check. Let's remove these little antenna connectors. These are quite fragile, so I'd be careful with them if I were you. There you go, that one's out. That one's out. There we go. So now all these are out. I think I have actually broken this. We'll have to see. Anyways. Put that back down. I'm probably doing a lot wrong here, so just have to see how it goes. Anyways, I'll just open up, undo this screw here, put that aside. There's another screw somewhere there. Then, with any luck, put that aside. The board should lift up. Okay, I've gotten the, the board out. There you go. That is our battery. 
let me show you that so you can get the model. There you go. Anyways, that lifts up and oh yes. Don't know how easily you can see that, but we seem to have a bit of a spicy pillow here. Now we will remove this capped on tape here. I'm going to snip these right on the edge there and then solder onto this new cell here which I've labelled plus or minus. I've triple checked that the polarity is right. I have some snips here. If I pull that all the way out and then snip that right there. There we go, that's one. There we go. So here's a battery. It's a bit squishy. This is the ballooning one. This is our BMS, a battery management system with a connector on it. I don't know how easily you can see that chip there. There you go. What I'm going to do is, I am going to tin these little pads here. I'm going to put some solder on those. And then I'm going to line these up and just press it on with the soldering iron. That way, um, I don't have to press the soldering iron on anything for too long, because I really don't want to heat up the battery too much. So it doesn't suffer the same fate as the other one. Is that going to stick? No. Oh, the air is sticking. Oh, the pads come off entirely. I have a little blob of solder on there, but this metal pad here started drifting around as I was soldering. Which, I don't know why I didn't expect that to happen. It's, it looks like it's just kind of surface melt solder. And, onto the PCB, but, oh well. Oh, don't get stuck. Yeah, the same thing happened there. Oh, was that a dry joint? Okay, yeah, there is a big pad underneath there, under the little metal piece, that's good. That means if I do mess something up, I can just solder directly onto that, that's good. If I just press and hold that on there. Anyways, there we go. Can I get a better joint on there? Right, let me try moving it over a little bit. There we go. I may try and put a little bit more solder on there. Let's try that. Oh, I'm a bit shaky. Wait, hold up. I don't know why I'm shaking, I'm not nervous or anything. Is that okay? Uh, that joint isn't anything to write home about, but I think it will do the job. Now this side. Let's get that across. It's passable. Someone's probably going to complain a lot about that, but... Function over form, I suppose. Let's see those joints. This one looks a bit crispy, I think. Let's, let me have a better look at that. So then this will just fold over. Oh yes, I can't forget. Let me get some capped on tape. We don't want that shorting out. How's that? Think that looks good? I don't know if I should take this little paper label off, but anyways. I think this should be okay. I think I might go over it with some scotch tape if I need to. Okay, I've found the mistake I have made. I have soldered this BMS the wrong way around, so 
I don't know how easily you can see this, but you still have these tensile leads from the old battery. They're facing that way, but I've soldered it this way. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to desolder it. Squish that back down again. I'm going to desolder it and solder it back the right, the right way round, because this is a really stupid mistake I've made. <laughs> Okay, the battery is loose. This needs to be soldered like so. Not like that, but like that. Well, is the battery the right way? There we go, like that. That's how it was meant to be soldered. I think I'm going to have to do this off camera because it is really tedious. There we go. I've soldered it on the right way. B plus, B plus, B minus, B minus. And now this connector, if I fold this around, it will be just as it was in the original. This folds over like this. And squishes down. As it was originally. This, I'm going to put on the other side. I'm going to go around it with some cellar tape and see if that will help. I've done a bit of taping. It doesn't look good at all. It looks like a bomb, but it should work. Let me test once more to see if it is wired up connected correctly, okay. There we go, 3.8 volts. That means there is a good connection and the BMS is working. Well, should be. Now I think is the stage where we rebuild the watch. My workspace a bit. There we go. Yeah, that's in. That's in well enough. Now the logic board. This little PCB here with all the noggins on it. This speaker, if I just loop all these around making sure nothing is trapped underneath. The microphone as well. I could probably do with some light actually. Some more light. After some time spent trying to get this board back in, I finally managed to do it. I've got it clipped in both sides here in the little clip there. Now all I need to do is just screw it back in. There you go. That side is screwed in. Oh. There are some little clips around the perimeter of this board. One here, one here, some other ones, one here. You can see here there's these little flanges here that stick out here, there, and there. Before I put that on though, I am going to put in back these connector cable, these antenna cables, these little ones here. This one I actually damaged, but I don't think it's going to impede its functionality. This one's on. There you go. These two antenna connectors are back in. Now I'll focus on this side. It had a little black sticker on it that came off. Oh, there we go, that's in. I don't know how easily you can see that, actually. You can see the uh, little metal thing it's partially lifted up when I pried it up with my thumb. This here. I don't think this is going to affect its functionality. You can see in the reflection, it's a reflection there. It's a bit bent. As I said, I don't think it's going to affect connectivity or anything. This is the camera connector. Can I get that back in? 
there we go, camera's in, this is the display connector, I did some research. I've looked back at the video and it turns out there isn't any connector that connects in there. Well, I got the board back in, I have the panel back on, the metal shielding, um, all the connectors are in except for the battery. So, I think at this stage, I've put the heart rate sensor in as well. I think at this stage I'll plug the battery in and see if it works. The battery should be fully charged as it had um, 3.8 volts through it. And we'll see. Oh, okay. Battery is in. It's a moment of truth. There we go. There you go, you just saw the heart rate sensor flicker green there. There we go. And yes, I've removed the battery so it's obviously being reset. There we go, no SIM card, no nothing. Well, it works. I'm very, very happy to see this. Let's see, it's on 64%. I'll power this off. Let's put the back back on. I have it here. Or the screws still on. They're not captive screws, but I just like working like this. Keeps everything organized. I'm going to screw this back in. And I think I'll start using this thing again. Okay. Now the only job left is to glue the screen on. I'll super glue the screen back on, not on camera, because this video is mostly just to focus on replacing the battery. Well, thank you for watching, thank you for going through the process with me, and hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, then I'd highly appreciate it if you'd like this video, subscribe, share it with anyone you want to share it with, and yeah, thanks for watching.